All right, hi everybody, good morning, 515, Doppler is dry. It's gonna stay that way until about five, six, seven o'clock tonight, and that's when we're gonna start to see some rain pushing into the state, but not right now. It's okay out there. You know what, typical uh, overnight low, 30. We're at 36 in Washington. That's a pretty good number for Washington this time of morning, this time of year. 35 in Plainfield, 42 in West Haven. West Haven, you got a little bit of a breeze there that makes the temperature feel like 39, but other than that, there's really no wind chill out there this morning. Visibility seems to be a problem. Uh, it's down in the New London area. I know Groton is reporting eight miles of visibility, to, but don't be fooled. There is some fog out there for you this morning. Not so much on our Hartford ICAM. That's good news. We have mostly good visibility but again here's stores just like yesterday it's starting to get enveloped with this fog out there you can barely make out the campus with all of this fog rolling around so you're gonna have to be careful all right temperatures today will top, top out close to 60 degrees which is 10 degrees above average it's not quite as mild as it was yesterday but nonetheless we're still going to be about 10 degrees above average a little bit cooler along the shoreline notice the mostly cloudy icons that take over but dry Mostly cloudy, but dry. Here are some more temperatures for you as you're walking out the door. 33 in Willimantic, 36 in Norwich, Meriden, 36. And then you get into the low 40s for New Haven and in Bridgeport. So those are some pretty good numbers, right? We're about uh, 4 to 10 degrees above average in Inland Connecticut. It's a little bit cooler along the shoreline, but not by much compared to 24 hours ago. And the winds are calm. So you take a look at the headlines. Foggy in parts of the state this morning. Mostly cloudy during the day today. You're not going to need the umbrella during the day today. It's tonight that you going to need that umbrella like again after six seven o'clock this evening it's all coming from a system that's two hours south you'll see it just out over the uh, Carolinas here this is all swinging in our direction and we are expecting those scattered showers to kind of gang up on us by tonight and some could be locally heavy here's early morning future cast tomorrow's weather today showing us an hour by hour depiction of uh, a little bit of rain marching on in here's Wednesday this morning seven o'clock this morning just mostly cloudy skies through noon through about four or five p.m. Uh, we're talking about mostly dry conditions, and then here comes that rain from southwest to northeast. 8 o'clock tonight, pouring in parts of the state, really pouring at 10 o'clock tonight, and midnight, it's a deluge. There could even be a little uh, rumble of thunder tonight through very early tomorrow morning, but when you wake up with us tomorrow morning, it's gone, and that's good news. So at least it's in and out of here while most of us are sleeping. Today's daytime highs climb into the upper 50s. Right around 60 degrees. Uh, it's going to be uh, an okay day today with mostly cloudy skies. Clearly not as nice as yesterday, but you know what? Tomorrow will be 75 degrees. 75 degrees tomorrow with partly sunny skies. Friday morning, Thursday night into Friday morning, there will be some rain in the state. Again, some of that could be locally heavy, but it's gone by Friday afternoon. Keep your fingers crossed. 61 degrees. Saturday is definitely the better of the two weekend days. Sunday looks wet. Sunday is looking like a wet day, so make some plans to be outside on Saturday. Maybe clean up that garden. And then Monday, a cooler day, 54 degrees and windy. And then Tuesday, back to 60 degrees with partly to mostly sunny skies.